Special thanks to Easy Edit Pro for sponsoring today's video. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create these pretty cool countdown timer graphics using Titles Pro by Easy Edit Pro. Titles Pro is a video template pack for designers, editors, animators, and bloggers to create content for their channels. This pack comes with 23 categories and over 1500 elements. There are also 753 illustrator vector files for branding and customization. It has unique animated titles such as liquid, glitch, kinetic, digital, and so much more. What's really nice about this pack is that it has quick preview, so you can easily see and preview each animation before you add it to your timeline. And what's also nice is that you can add it to your sequence with just one click, and each animation is highly customizable inside the Essential Graphics panel. Now you can also download Easy Edit Viewer for free. It's actually the extension that you use Tile Pro in, but it has a free assets section where you can download media files such as GIFs, videos, and photos. This pack is easy for beginners and comes with 24 seven support and has a bunch of tutorials to get you guys going. So if you guys are interested, the links are down in the video description. Feel free to go check out their YouTube channel, Instagram page and blog to see tutorials and also updates to their packs. There are also other packs for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve and After Effects. Now let's dive into Premiere Pro and see how this pack works. Now this countdown timer is for my live stream, so if you guys don't happen to know, I go live once a month to deep dive on a Premiere Pro or After Effects subject a little bit deeper. So feel free to go check those out on my channel, but one of the best things about this pack is that you can actually customize you know, the different assets and put them together in different ways. So that's what we're really gonna be focusing on in this tutorial. Not only are we gonna create the countdown itself, but I'm gonna add a background element to it as well as some overlay text as well for the live stream countdown. So I'm inside Premiere Pro and to get going here, what I'm gonna do is actually change my workspace to the captions and graphics section. And once you download and install Easy Edit Viewer, where you wanna go is actually up to Window, Extensions, Easy Edit Viewer. And you'll notice this window pop up here. And like I mentioned, there are a lot of different categories such as minimal lines, lower thirds, quotes, but where we'll wanna go is down under countdowns. So we'll go to countdowns and there's a lot of different countdowns to choose from. I like this one. So what we're gonna do is click on it and this will add it to your Premiere Pro project. Now what's really nice is it doesn't really disrupt your project at all. You'll notice once I do this, if I do this again and add a black video in here, it will actually add it above the black video. So it doesn't really like delete or remove any of your timeline items. It kind of adds it above everything. To edit, what I'm gonna do is click on it and then go into the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see it, go up to Window, Essential Graphics. Now one of the first settings here is you can actually change the comp configuration. So this is very helpful if you are working on maybe 4K or maybe you have to resize your graphics to maybe a vertical iPhone format. You can actually resize your graphics in here without it getting blurry. Where I'm gonna go first is under main config. I'm gonna size this up a little bit next to scale. This sizes up everything. But you'll notice down below, you actually have control over each element. So for example here, we don't really need hours since we only want a 15 minute countdown. So what I'm gonna do here is actually change the size for each of the hour segments to zero. That way they're removed from the graphic. One other thing I wanna do in the main configuration is actually make the minutes and seconds larger. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down and scale up the minutes a little bit and scale up the seconds a little bit. You'll also notice if we scroll up here, there's a speed section. And since this is a countdown, what I actually want it to do is go downwards. And to do downwards, what you do is change the value to negative one. You'll notice when we play this, it's actually going downwards. It's counting down instead of up. Now, if you want to speed up your countdown, you can actually slide this up to speed it up or slide it to the left to, to go down faster. But in this case, I just want negative one to go in real time down one second. Now above here, what I'm gonna do is change the hours to zero and change the minutes to 15 and the seconds to zero. And now when we play this back at the very start of the sequence here, you'll notice that it starts right at 15 minutes. And what I'm also gonna do is click on my time code here and go actually out to 15 minutes, grab my razor tool, make a cut, and then select the right side and just hit delete. And then I'll trim it that way this graphic is only 15 minutes long. 
All right, let's customize the text a little bit. So when you click on it inside Essential Graphics, you'll notice that there's a text configuration setting. So you can change the size in here as well as the font. So I'm gonna change it to Avenir Next for all of the different fonts here to match my branding. What you can also do with these graphics is change the color to match your brand. So I'm gonna collapse text configuration and main configuration, go under color, and you can actually change the color. So I'm gonna change the color of the circle to a nice blue color to match my brand. I'm just gonna copy that hex code and go into the second color and paste it in here and click okay. Now what we're gonna do is actually resize this and put it down to the lower left-hand side. So I'm gonna click on it, go back to main configuration and next to position, I'm just gonna drag the X and Y to get it down to the bottom left. And like I was saying, we're gonna add other elements to this. So one of the cool areas in this pack is the animated backgrounds. So inside the easy edit viewer, what you can do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll notice that you have some nice backgrounds that you can add into your project. What I'm gonna do is click on this last one here, scroll all the way down. And there's a few down here that I really like that match the countdown. So what I'm gonna do is hover over it and click on it. And this will add it to the project. I'm gonna click and drag the countdown up one and then drag the background underneath it and slide it over. And as you can see, it's a little small. So what I'm gonna do is click on it, go back into essential graphics, go under comp config and actually size up the Y value to make it full screen. Under main config for the backgrounds, you'll notice that there's a few different transition types. There's a slider, and if we change it and play it back, you'll notice that it animates on and off differently. So you have 10 different options, but in this case, I do like number five the best. What I'm also gonna do is actually change the speed. So I'm gonna change the rotation speed down a little bit so it doesn't rotate as fast. That way it's a little bit more subtle. What I'm also gonna do is change the color so I'm going to go under color config, and there's quite a few different colors you can change in this. So I'm going to change them to my blue colors. That looks nice. We can add a second background by going into Easy Edit Viewer, and I like this one. This will be added, and you can just click and drag this underneath here. Same thing, you can go back into Comp Config, size it up a little bit. And now we have some customized graphics that are underneath our timeline. Next, let's add some text over it to tell the viewers that the live stream will begin shortly. So to do that, go back into Easy Edit Viewer, and there's a lot of text to play with. But in this case, I'm gonna go under Minimal 3. You'll notice that these minimal titles are categorized by how many lines of text. So in example, Minimal 3, this is actually three lines of text. You know, Minimal 5, there's five lines of text. So it's really nice if you know how many lines there are. In this case, I do like this one, so I'm going to click once. And this will add text to my sequence here. And we play this back. You'll notice that it animates on. We'll go back into Essential Graphics. We'll go under Main Config and actually size this up a little bit. So we'll scale it up and move it to the left side. And we'll scale it up, move it up, get it aligned nicely in this top area. And we'll change the text by going into text configuration. And similar to the countdown, you can change the font. I'm gonna make it match my countdown font. And under color, I'm gonna change the red color to one of the blue colors that I've been using. And now we got nice text. Now, one thing that's really nice about the text elements is that you can really time remap them to fit really any length of footage. So right now it's pretty short, but if we drag the edges, we can actually expand the, we can actually expand the graphic to actually fill the length of the graphic, the two background graphics here. The background and timer animate in, and then this graphic animates in, and it animates out at the end of the second background graphic. So this is looking pretty good. To just cap this off, I'm just gonna duplicate the top and bottom graphics over to fill the 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna click on the top graphic, marquee select the bottom graphics, hit Command C, go to the end, and just keep copying and pasting for the full 15 minutes. At the end, I'm just gonna delete the end and just trim it by just 
clicking and dragging on the edges. And there we go, guys. We have a nice background text animations for our countdown using Titles Pro by EasyEdit Pro. So hopefully you guys see this in my latest live stream next month. If you guys want to take this a step further and maybe add a looping background song under this, check out my video tutorial on the new Remix tool inside Premiere Pro. That will be right up there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.